day to all our grade 8 students. Welcome to School on Air in Physical Education Aid. I am happy to be with you in this journey as you unlock another learnings through television. I am Godfrey Escalipayan, your teacher broadcaster from Santa Ana National High School. Are you excited to learn our new lesson? Kindly tell yourself, I'm so excited. Great. Do you feel any boredom? Is there anything you can share about some routines or activities you have gone with? If there are some, did you do it alone or with somebody? Now, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy as I'm going to present the third module in Physical Education Aid wherein you'll not just learn but have fun at the same time because i believe that what we learn with pleasure we never forget our lesson for today is based on the most essential learning competency of department of education which prepares a physical activity program before we start i would like to give you a heads up of what you're expected to learn from this lesson. Specifically, it seeks to achieve the following objectives. Number one, discuss the physical activity program towards fitness goals. Number two, prepare a program of physical activity. Number three, realize the significant values of doing physical activity exercises to achieve fitness. What is physical activity? It is defined as any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure. Physical activity encompasses all activities at any intensity performed during any time of day or night. It includes exercise and incidental activity integrated into daily activity. Many people are trying to plan for their own good and one thing is to be fit physically. But on the other hand, they do not know some of the things to consider in making it more realistic and achievable. Others may just perform their own physical exercises for the sake of getting sweat, even without knowing yet the proper way of handling the activity. How effective are those exercises for them? And what is needed in the preparation of the fitness program? Adolescents nowadays are fond of spending more time in gadgets than doing physical activities, especially this time of pandemic. Sir, we are not allowed to go out. What should we do? I can't play sports. I have no choice. Yes, you have. How? Do you know that doing household chores helps a lot in maintaining physical fitness? Think about this. For the whole day, you have been sitting on your couch or bed watching K-drama, checking your social media accounts, or playing Mobile Legends, which do not require you to move too much. So, Find time in doing household chores as part of your daily routine. At this point, I know you've already identified your strengths and weaknesses based from your physical fitness test results in the previous module. So, when you design a physical activity program, you have to make sure that your target is to develop your weaknesses until it will become your strength. Making any lifestyle change can be challenging. Many people find out that having a goal in mind gives them something to work towards, motivates them to stay on track, and provides a measure of how well they are doing. If you want to become more physically fit, well-planned goals keeps you focused and motivated. Several key principles can be applied to help you set your physical activity goals. These include 
pinpoint your ultimate fitness goal. Suggestions? A. Be realistic. B. Be specific. And C. Choose a goal that is meaningful to you and important at the same time. Next, find out how to achieve your ultimate goal. And these are effective strategies. Choose aerobic activities such as walking, jogging, swimming, etc. Exercise for at least 30 minutes on all or most days of the week. Cut back on junk food, less chocolates, and eat smaller food portions. Increase the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables, lean meats, low-fat dairy products, and whole grain food in your daily diet. Set small, specific mini goals. Then monitor your progress regularly. Then adapt to changing circumstances. And be, don't be too hard on yourself. Later on, you are going to prepare a program of physical activity exercises involving you and your family using the FITT principle. It must be simple, enjoyable, and suitable to the needs of the members of the family in order to achieve fitness. Please see the table projected on the screen as your guide later. But prior to that, let us define what is FITT principle. It is an exercise prescription to help you understand how long and how hard you should exercise. It can be applied to exercise in general or specific components of exercise. FITT is acronym that stands for frequency, Intensity, time, and time. Now, what is frequency? It refers how often you are physically active and is usually measured in days per week. Remember, frequency means how often. Now, intensity describes how hard your body is working during physical activity. And it is often described as light, moderate, or vigorous. Take note, intensity means how hard. Time, it measures how long you spend being physically active during your daily routine. Please be guided, time means how long. Type. It describes what kind of activity you choose, such as walking, gardening, hiking, biking, weight training, household chores, and playing basketball, etc. Remember, type, what kind? Did you enjoy? Learning is so fun, isn't it? How was the higher task? I hope you got some idea about the activity you've done. It will not just help you to be healthy physically, but also it will make you happy, enjoy, and become more fit with your family. My dear students, I want you to remember this. Number one, Performing such physical activities is highly important in order to meet your needs. Also, involving the members of your family to be in a higher level of fitness as a main goal to achieve. Number two, break down the ultimate fitness health and fitness goal into small, specific, and achievable mini goals. Number three, keep a training diary to monitor your progress. And as long as there is good result, then celebrate. 
Congratulations! You did a great job! I hope you will continue to be at your best in the next activities and start applying what you have learned because knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. Once again, this is Godfrey S. Calipayan, your teacher broadcaster in PEA. Always remember, seven days without exercise makes one week. Again, seven days without exercise makes one week. That would be all. Thank you. Goodbye.